I was traveling in one of the Middle Eastern countries a long time back and I happened to cross the border and when I was coming back I wanted to cross back into the country that I had left from and it was the time of Jumu'ah and they told me you have a Zimbabwean passport you actually need a visa to go in and I told them but hang on I was here about 10 days back when I was crossing and no one told me this I crossed and there was no visa he said no the law has just changed two days ago now I have a flight to catch and I'm making dua to Allah and I say ya Allah help me ya Allah I'm in need help me ya Allah what am I going to do I've got a flight to catch and I need to return home and so it was the time of Jumu'ah and the Adhan went and mashallah there was a masjid in the border post and so I went and making dua to Allah and I sat down and the Imam spoke about now this is called the help of Allah not from me nothing at all the Imam was speaking about helping people in desperation helping people in need and how Allah will assist you if you assist someone who's desperate who's in need and guess what there was a man next to me who greeted me and I greeted him back and then I greeted him immediately after the talk. And I, I nodded my head, smiled at him and so on. And we started our salah. We were standing in the saf, straightening, you know, the, the feet. And I started my salah and I ended. And when I finished, I made a dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh Allah, I don't know. It's only you that's going to help. And so what happened is I came out. I had hope in my heart, but I was also making a plan B, you know, to say, let's go back and we'll do this. We'll change tickets, perhaps leave from the, the, another city altogether. And as I went in, I told this brother who was behind the counter that, look, you know what? Please, I need your help. He says, only my boss can do it for you. So can I see him? He says, yeah, well, you can, maybe. You can enter that door and if he's there, you're lucky. So I went by the door, there was someone cleaning. Knocked on the door, the door opened. Who was the boss? The man who sat next to me just the time of the khutbah and salah. And he read right next to me. And guess how I started my story? Salaamu Alaikum. You know, you can, you can remember the smile, can't you, you know? So I looked at him and I'm, I'm saying to myself, let me try and choose the best way of convincing him such that he will not be able to say no if he has a heart. I said, you know, mashallah, I'm in need. I'm desperately in need. And I'm convinced Allah will send the help. And I hope and I pray that help can come through you at least so that inshallah, you know, I will be able to at least cross here. He looks at me and he thought for a moment and I am quite certain that the words of the Imam were ringing in his head. And then he tells me something. He says, you know, you're right. It's only from Allah, not from me. He wrote on my in my passport. This man has been given oral permission to enter the country. You know, the Arab nation, some of them, they have this. I don't know about now, but I'm talking of quite a while back. And he wrote it. I went to the front. The man looked at it and smiled. He stamped it and let me cross. As simple as ABC. But my life was coming to an end, basically, if that didn't happen. Not to an end, but what I mean is, you know, it was going to be quite difficult. And then I told myself, I said, you know, this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imagine if we didn't greet. Imagine if I just sat. Imagine if he didn't greet. It was his quality. He was a big boss. I didn't even know. But he greeted. And this is what helped. And I greeted back. And this is why, I remember, sometimes we are arrogant. It's shaitan that overtakes us. We are human. We need to check it again. Make sure you remove it. Fight it. Fight it. Be humble. You know, I've seen people with mega wealth. And you'll never pick up that this man has wealth. And I've seen people with next to nothing. And they, they have their first thousand dollars. And next thing they feel like, subhanallah, I'm Bill Gates. Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness of the dunya as well as goodness of the akhirah.